are headed for a regular full thrift day. This is the first um, full thrift day that we've had in weeks because we were in England um, for a couple weeks. And I mean, then, those were full thrift days. I mean, they were full thrift days, but I'm just saying like full American thrift days because last week we only did a little bit, like a, a fourth of a haul and the week before just a couple things. So I'm super excited to just go buy all the things that I want. I do want to find some Christmas stuff. I feel like we're starting to sell through it and I would rather buy Christmas stuff at the thrift store than order it wholesale. Um, and then I'm already thinking to January. So all kinds of organizing things. That's what we always like to buy in January. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to get my own cart today so that I don't have to constantly steal Jamie's and haul a ton of stuff around the thrift store in my arms. <laughs> Remember last week he didn't need a cart, but what did he need? I got all the, I always, when I go to the yard, I find all the big bulky things, the totes, the the boxes, the cheese or hat boxes, whatever Actually, you call I think them. I found those, but in, in Zeb's defense, he always orders fries and I always eat them. So I'm happy to share my cart. <laughs> Just a few leaves left on the trees. So I'm gonna race to the thrift store. <laughs> we have one minute and there's a line of only about five or six people. What I notice about this Desert Industries thrift store is that the people here typically are not buying the same things as us. So it's just like so much more chill than Saratoga. Oh, Jeff's getting in front of my cart. Back of the cart. <laughs> Zeb's headed over to the yard. Let's see what he comes home with today. He's looking for some red and white dishes. Always loving serving platters. It's so pretty. Syracuse made in the USA. This is nice and heavy. Not exactly my style, so I'm gonna leave it here, especially since I have so many fun platters. I love how they like separate by color, so it makes it really easy to find what I'm looking for. And I always have the best blue dishes here. I don't really need any right now, but they're really pretty. Well, they do have Christmas out. I don't know that Jamie's gonna go for any of that, but oh look, hiding out back here. That's why I come to the yard. They've got the stuff I want, two bucks. This is silver plate, but no maker mark on it. I like them when they got a maker mark. Check out the cart here. That's kind of fun. The big horse cut out. Oh, I like that picture. That's pretty. Found this cute lazy Susan. I like the edges. Kind of tempted to check these big frames out. It needs new art and a paint job. Looks like more work than I want to do today. I like this big mirror. How much is that? 35? Ah, is it wood or plastic? It's foam. It's like a foam mirror. I'll think on that. This one looks like it's got a little bow to it, but it sits mostly flat. I don't know. How much is it? It's Pampered Chef, made in the USA. No price. If it's cheap, I'll get it. I want to repaint this. It's like three bucks, but it's super shiny. I'd be more apt. Looks like it's already been repainted. I'd be more apt to get it if it wasn't shiny because that's going to be hard to cover and then distress back. Not actual copper, but I think that'd be so cute hanging on a wall. Pick it up. It doesn't have a price, but oh, dollar fifty. Cast iron, or is it resin? Five dollars. I think it's resin. I'm trying to be more picky. We have a lot of stuff right now. That's a cute candlestick. It needs a new paint job. I hope Jamie's doing better than I am. It's looking like a two per store day today. So I hope Zeb's doing better out in the yard than I'm doing in here, because so far my cart's pretty empty. I'm not seeing anything that I'm like in love with. The Christmas, definitely people are starting to decorate, so it's like pretty picked over, 
which is normal. It's why we thrift all year round for Christmas, just to make sure we have enough for the holiday season. It's a cute little heart box. Oh, the inside's pretty yucky. So I actually think I could take this out and then I would like this heart shaped box. It's silver plated. It's only $5. I'm going to grab it and then just take this belt out. It'll be better without it. Let's go check the clocks out. I actually like this one. I don't like the face on it at all, but... My special appointment to the queen. It does have this crest. This is very popular. Oh, for seven bucks though. Oh, and the back fell off. Battery's blown up. Nope. I'm going to say pass on that one. That is an unimpressive cart, sir. There's a lot of stuff back there that I could paint. I'm just not... It's not good enough that I'm like, yeah, I got to pop on that. <laughs> you got a candlestick. I got one candlestick. Let's let's take a second peek, second look together, and then maybe we'll find some things. I'll that show we you work the on. stuff I was on the fence about, and then you can be like, yeah, okay, or no, because honestly, I need some persuasion on some of those things. Well, maybe we can head over to West Jordan. Yeah. See what they got. Let's see. That usually means breakfast or brunch. <gasps> oh, this is. Oh, these are. Oh shoot! I thought this was a blanket. I don't really like it for just. Like a sham. Shams. I wish it was a blanket because that's cute. So I don't need any Christmas trees, but that white flocked tree is actually really pretty. If anybody is local and they need a big Christmas tree, that one's probably like nine feet tall. It's a nice tree. I think that's cute for a nursery. I don't even actually think it needs painted. I'm going to pick that up. I actually really like this basket. I haven't bought baskets in a while, but this one is kind of like a, I would say a bread basket because you could fit a loaf of bread in it. I'm going to grab it. That's cute. I don't know if Jamie just didn't grab this because it's been repainted, but, oh, it's Honko. Made in the USA. I'm going to snag it. $1.50. I feel like I am like ridiculously spoiled after thrifting in England. It's not that there's not good stuff here, but I'm like, man, all this stuff needs to be painted. And we still have a lot of other projects to do. So I'm trying really hard not to buy things that need to be painted. So I think we're going to just have to thrift more. And I think it'll save us more time in the long run by not buying everything that needs to be painted. So I didn't realize this was broken in two spots. <laughs> I picked it up, so I'm going to put this back in the wood section, which I actually feel like it makes more sense in here anyways. So just found this. It's kind of vintage. Got the plastic handle on there. It's for making evil skeevers. I sold a cast iron one a couple weeks ago that I cleaned up. Uh, this one's aluminum. The handle I don't love, but I think I'm going to get it because it's uh, made in USA, Minneapolis. So I passed on this clock. I don't know that we need another big round clock that needs repair. But this is a Howard Miller, and it's got a domed face on the glass here. It is feels like wood underneath this carving. Maybe foam, but it feels like wood. I think I could make this one really cool. It's 25 bucks though. It's a little steep. I know what they got. So I found this. It doesn't have a spoon in it. Um, but it's $15, and I think it would be really cute to force some bolts in. So I'm going to pick it up. And I guess you could probably just put, like, a regular silver spoon with it, which you might have some in my stash. Definitely a two-store day. We almost filled up one cart together. I feel like after being over in Europe and England specifically, uh, we're a little more picky <laughs> on what we want. Everything there is just so good. So we spent $51 on this, and Jamie has one collectible that she had to go back and collect. You have to pay for it, show them the receipt, and then they get the collectible for you. Next up, we're going to go to West Jordan because Goodwill is also, like, right there. And last time we went to Goodwill, we hit the mother load. 
Yeah, they had a ton of stuff that I feel like was just overlooked because of the area they're in. People are more buying clothing from that store. Yeah, so super excited to go there. Hopefully we win again because that's where we found the Pottery Barn cloche. We found the another Pottery Barn piece that was like pretty expensive. Ooh, it's a little windy. So let's see what we get. So we were going to go to Goodwill first, but it doesn't open till 10 and it's 9.53. So we're going to head over to the... Can't wait seven minutes. No, no. We're going to head over to the Desert Industries thrift store and we'll see what they have first and then we'll hop over. So the first thing I found was this. Look how cute this is. It's like a music box. I wonder if it works. It does work. It's a little slow, but that's cute. Do not overwind. Got a cart with a bad wheel. Watch this. Oh. So when Zeb went out to the yard in true fashion, the music was blasting. I could not figure out how to get it out. So I thought I would just do some voiceover for what Zeb is finding. The first thing he's going to pick up is his face. It definitely needs painted. It's textured. Um, it's just not the look that we want. So we will take that home and paint it. It's not shiny, so it shouldn't be too difficult to paint. Um, it'll just make that easier. So I feel like the Christmas here is way more plentiful. Lots of fun stuff. This is a really cute cookie jar. Three dollars. I'm gonna grab it. I really like these. Pretty cute painted. Found this mother for a dollar. Looks like it's handmade. Oh, look at this cute little enamel like milk can. That's cute. I'm going to grab that for $1.50. I'm on the hunt for a pampered chef, like a casserole dish, like a big deep one, because Harrington borrowed mine, and I don't know that it's going to get returned. Activity for $5. It's got animals. I'll take that, because Deb's going to want it, I'm sure. One item. At least it's good. Oh, two! Two, you're doing good. Well, we haven't been through the frames yet, so you might find some fun. This is so cute. I don't even think it needs to be painted. Those birds are weighted, so this just kind of sits on a shelf. $3, originally 15 so I could probably at least sell it for 15 in the shop. Zeb went back out to the yard, and again, the music was blaring, so I'm just going to do voiceover. He found this fire pit for $25. It's got a pull-out where you can cook on top of it. It's got a grate where you can do, like, the cooking below and the coals, a few free logs, who knows where they came from, and the stir stick. He looked it up online, and it sells for $1,800. This I don't think I'd sell online because it's just too big. It would cost a lot to ship, but it'll be cute in the shop, and we can put a bunch of cards on it. So this is only 75 cents. I'm going to pick it up because I know it's probably more in the store. And these are perfect for um, glue. We buy it by the gallon or you can put paint in it. And it's just easy for squeezing it out. It's a good price for a good quality one. We usually buy the cheap ones. It was after 10 a.m. and we were just across the street from Goodwill. So we decided to pop in and see if they were open and if they had any thrifted finds that we couldn't wait to take home. One cart. Oh, there's the rest of the carts. It's okay. We usually only need one. All right, let's go. So here it's interesting because they also put stuff on top. So we like to like check all the tops. And then we also look on the shelves. It's a canister set. Is yes. there another one inside of that one? Take a look. It's oh, $6. It's a, I was like, man, that's heavy. That's a, oh, that's so cute. Okay, so three with little ends on them. Yeah, that's good. We find a lot of these that are wood, but this one here is metal. Just found this on the cart, $1.99, that's so cute. And none of the scallops are broken. Cute little Ray Dunn pie plate for $5.99. Right time of year. Where are all my cast iron friends? Not seeing any today. Here's a big milk glass piece, $2.99, and it's divided dish. I thought it would be perfect for the holidays. So I found this as part of my, it's not like super inexpensive, but $1.99 and it's, it matches my set. So I'm going to grab it. Cause you just never know when you need extra piece. So I found Zeb finding more art. <laughs> Actually, I think, I think these are really good. So I'm happy to pick them up. $7.99 for this one. I love 
what's in the it's frame. I don't love the frames, but I think if we paint them, they'll be good. We don't typically decorate with crosses, but I actually think that Debbie could paint this so cute and it would look good in her house and doesn't have a price on it, but I bet it's not going to be too much. So I'm going to grab this because I got her something else for Christmas. So I'm going to put this with it. This is super cute. We have Santa mugs in the shop. I don't think we've sold out yet. And that would be so fun to display them. I'll just distress it to get rid of some of the overspray. So I just got home. We unloaded from three thrift stores. And I'm like, this is really not enough for an entire haul. Like we sell typically more than this many thrifted items every week. And so it's important that we keep up our inventory. So Odelia just got home from subbing preschool. She's a substitute teacher. So we're going to head to the Desert Industries in Saratoga Springs. Feel better? All right. I would grab these, but $2 each is too much for them. Some of them have little chips too. I kind of like this. It would be cute for like butter for the holidays. Also definitely loving this jar. Perfect color, hermetic, super cute little crockery for your utensils. I actually think this would be cute painted, but I'll probably sell it as is. It's from the Pampered Chef. This is really cute. I actually think somebody made it because this is USA Pottery on the back. It's only $3. Looks like it needs to be cleaned up, but it'd be cute for jewelry or little treats. So I love these books. They've got like really pretty um, binding on them. And a lot of times you'll find them in their sleeves. So if you see these, all you have to do is just kind of peek underneath and you can see how pretty they are. So when we sell them, we'll take this outside sleeve off and just sell them with the pretty binding inside. And I found four of them. And you have to look because these are all plain. So I don't want any of those. Found these, they're not old, but originally they are from Creative Co-op, which is the brand I order wholesale from. And $3 each is a good price. I'm gonna buy all four of them and the Hermetic jar in the back. Odelia and I just got back from the thrift store. It was definitely worth going. She found a few pairs of pants. I found a ton of Reader's Digest books and some really pretty jars. So four thrift stores total today. Um, I guess that's what happens when you got to be picky. And even still, we're going to have to paint some things. When, you, when Jamie gives you the slow pans of this, it's going to look like nothing goes together. And then we're going to paint it and it'll all fit right in our store and look cohesive. I passed so many things that I would normally buy, but when I'm not in the mood to paint a ton of stuff, I'm a little bit pickier and I feel like while well, we spend a little bit more time finding the items, we don't have to paint 40 things. It actually is less time in the long run. So it's all about a good balance. If you guys want to see everything up close, stick around and we'll do the slow-mo pan. If you want to shop, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com and don't miss our Saturday thrift haul at 8.30 Mountain Time every Saturday night. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. We'll see you on the next episode.